بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. It was reported on the authority of Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه who said the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said تابعوا بين الحج والعمرة فإنهما ينفيان الفقر وظنوبا كما ينفي الكيل خبث الحديد والذهب والفضة وليس لحجة المبرورة ثواب إلا الجنة The Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said Alternate between the Hajj and the Umrah in the Umrah for they both remove poverty and sins as bellows remove impurities from iron, gold and silver and there is no reward for an accepted Hajj except paradise this hadith is Hassan and it was narrated in uh, Tirmidhi wa Ibn Khuzayma wa Ibn Hibban so in this hadith we see the benefit of making the Hajj and the Umrah and that by altern, uh, alternating between them so meaning making them more on, on a repetitive uh, basis this great act of worship these great acts of ibadah that they remove our poverty and they remove our sins and they this is similar to the way that the bellows or when the iron worker is working with iron and so forth that he removes the impurities from iron and gold and those other uh, items that uh, the impurities are, are stored in and there is no reward for Hajj a Hajj that accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where the intention was purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that it was done in accordance with the, with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu except paradise. This is the reward of, of Hajj. And the Hajj and the Umrah are ways and means that we can remove the poverty upon us and our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and bless us to be able to make those uh, great acts of worship. And especially those who live in the uh, Muslim lands and they're in a position and they're closer to being able to perform this sacred pilgrimage the lesser pilgrimage, the Umrah or even the Hajj that may Allah facilitate that for them and bless us to have the intention to do so to take advantage of the position that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored us with. And may Allah forgive us of all of our shortcomings. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.